Hey, this is Jonathan Bukhara for Fluent C++. We all know that we should know our STL algorithms. Today, we're making a close-up on algorithms on sets. So, by a set, I mean a collection that is sorted, right? So, it can be a stood set it can also be a sorted stood vector, for example. So a set is a sorted collection of things. So it's quite simple. You absolutely, positively, unquestionably need to know your algorithms on sets. They're so useful. So here they are. The first one is set difference. So set difference takes two sets, say set A and set B, and gives you the elements that are in A, but that are not in B. Set intersection takes two sets, say A and set B, and gives you the elements that are both in set A and in set B, and it gives you the version of the elements coming from A. Set union takes two sets, A and B, and gives you the elements that are in A or in B, so all of them, except that the inter intersection, uh, you don't get it twice, right? So it's like a union on sets. And the elements in the intersection are those coming from A. And set symmetric difference gives you the elements that are in A and not in B, and in B and not in A. And finally, we've got merge that takes two sets and merge them into a set. So it takes two sorted collections and and gives out one sort of one and finally we've got includes that takes two sets and returns a boolean that indicates whether the first set contains the second one i told you that this was extremely useful so let's see how that looks like in code to illustrate we're going to see an example of usage of set difference because the other algorithms are fairly similar in their usage. Let's take two collections of things in a sorted order. So here I've used a sorted vector. We could have been a set, for example, that's always sorted. Let's say that the, those two collections represent the state of a one collection before and after some values have been added and removed from that collection. Let's try and find out what values have been added and what values have been removed. So what values have been added is essentially the values that are after, but that are not before. So it sounds like a job for set difference. This line of code takes the value that are after and not before and outputs them in a collection that's called added which I need to create beforehand. Let's do the same thing for finding the elements that were removed. So the elements that were removed are those that are before and not after. All right, so let's try out that code to see what it outputs. There we are. Let's run that program. And the elements that were added are three and 13 here and there. And the elements that were removed are one and four, which are before and not after. So using set difference allows to see what's the difference between two sets very easily. So these are the STL algorithms on sets. It's interesting to know how they are implemented, but that's the topic for our next video. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel, Blue NT++, and put a thumb up if you liked it. I'll see you next time.